So Power Query is case sensitive. This video is about how to make a particular step not be case sensitive. You would do this if you have a messy data source where your data quality isn't perfect. So in this example, we are using it to filter a SharePoint folder query to expand a bunch of files. So what we're going for is to pull any file that has the word final in the file name in a particular folder even if it is a different case. And at this point you might be thinking, Christine, why don't you use a column on the library to mark whether or not the draft is final or use major minor versioning to keep it more consistent? And yes, this is technically an option. However, I have a slightly unhinged rant about the user experience with those features. I will save that for the end of the video. Let's go into how to do the case insensitivity. So the default behavior here, if I filter this query on, contains the word final and click okay, I am only getting the one file that has the word final with the same case. So the way to change this behavior is to go into this step that I just created that has the filter on it. And after the word that it's filtering on, so this word final right here, we're gonna do a comma and then do comparer dot ordinal ignore case, this one right here. So I started typing the word comparer and it popped up. So I'm gonna click on that and then just hit the checkbox here. So you can see now it's pulling in the different versions of the file name with a different case. So I can now expand these out to get the file contents. So back to my rant about SharePoint metadata and why you would or would not want to use this. So in theory, SharePoint library metadata is awesome and amazing and it's super cool. In practice, what you find is that getting people to use it consistently is very difficult. So you can make fields on a SharePoint library required. So you could have them say, um, have to enter draft or final as metadata. But if you make it required, when somebody uploads a file or creates a file in that library, it automatically checks the file out to the user until they add that metadata. And if they are not super familiar with SharePoint, what they're gonna do is maybe they'll add the file metadata, maybe they won't. They'll probably not notice the file is checked out to themselves and nobody will be able to see it. So you really have to have either a small number of people that are really familiar with SharePoint in order to use the metadata reliably, or you could use the major minor versioning, but I tend to have the same problem with that where people don't remember to publish the version to a major version when it's ready. So I, I find that as much as it's not a perfect solution to have people put a word in a file name, they're much better about being able to do that reliably than they are adding file metadata in SharePoint. And I say this as a SharePoint person, which is kind of weird for me. I love SharePoint, by the way, I'm not dissing SharePoint. SharePoint lists are awesome. The user experience with metadata in libraries is not stellar. So that was everything I have for you today. Thank you for watching and have a great day.